हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव टिल नाउ कवर्ड पैड एंड शार्प फीचर ऑफ स्केच बेस्ड टूल्स व्हिच कैन बी यूज टू डिज़ाइन पार्ट्स अ सॉलिड जोमेट्री एंड सर्कुलर फीचर्स नाउ दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर स्केचर वर्क बेंच लिटिल बिट एंड सी वेरियस फंक्शंस दैट वी कैन यू यूज इन स्केचर वर्क बेंच एंड देन वी विल design our part a solid geometry and use one more feature called pockets so let's just get started mechanical design part design name it exercise 3 select one plane sketch plane we will draw one feature Fifty millimeters. Now I will use offset. Offset means a parallel line drawn at certain distance. So I will say twelve millimeters. And again I will use offset and define a distance forty millimeters. It will draw one another. Now I will say from top. Let's just draw another at 15 millimeter, and from middle of that 15 millimeter, let's just say six millimeters. Now I will take one line and join from above to below. I will again invoke offset command and draw. a parallel line at 24 mm and again another line at 8 mm from it and from further there 15 mm so here i have completed all of it so let's just trim to get our feature here i go trim all of it okay is not necessary okay i will draw one line joining from here to here okay here i go and delete all of it which is not required so here we are left with it now i will show how we can use mirror to just draw a replica on the other side for that we need a reference line so here i stretch one reference line so we passing okay now i will select the feature that i want to mirror on the other side complete this structure now i will invoke mirror tool and it will ask about which reference axis so i mentioned over here and here we have got another part of it so we have seen the mirror feature and fillet and trim Let's just exit the workbench and complete our geometry. So we will invoke sketch base feature, pad, and it's going to ask how much you want to protrude or extrude the feature. So first, I will select 
the profile I want to do adding I just set 40 millimeters so it will invoke 40 millimeters on one side if I either say 20 millimeters and mention mirror to extend it will invoke 20 millimeters on both the side 20 millimeters on this side and 20 millimeter that means it it will still be 40 millimeters but it will be on the center of the axis of plane okay click okay now we will do some pocket feature on the opposite side of it so just select the other side and invoke sketcher although we don't need it we can directly have used but still I'm going to create it a feature So I have created one square box which will I uh, cut out with the help of pocket insert sketch base feature pocket and it's asking how what's the depth you want it I'm just saying six millimeter so let's just preview it so here is our pocket prepared of 6 millimeter gap now let's just put some hole in it sketch base feature hole position our sketch what kind of we want we want it it should be 20 along vertical so I will double click on it and define the dimensions 20 millimeter and from here to here I still want 12 millimeters so that it will come in center that's it and I will exit it's asking what should be the depth of it I will say okay I will say up to last okay so here we are seen pad pocket and hole feature now what we are also can add to it is fillet edge fillet here I have mentioned okay so this is the fillet okay I will add fillet on one side and chamfer on other let's just give it insert so here we have got fillet on the other end we will we can use chamfer one two three four that's it five and just see so here we have got both side completed and let's just take multiple views isometric top front side view 